Now, imagine a genetically modified organism leaving the laboratory. It could spell some serious destruction for biological ecosystems. Well, this is a problem that can now be prevented. Scientists in the U.S. have developed a kind of genetic firewall to prevent the modified genes from surviving in the natural world on their own. Connie Lee has a story. Remember the movie Jurassic Park? Well, these genetically modified dinosaurs weren't supposed to survive in the natural world on their own, but they did and wreaked havoc. It's a fictional case, but scientists have long been concerned about genetically modified organisms, or GMOs, leaking out of the laboratory and into the natural world. However, those concerns may soon be eased as scientists have developed a new strategy for rendering bacteria incapable of surviving in the natural world. Researchers from Harvard and Yale have developed genetically engineered E. coli bacteria, whose survival depends solely on laboratory-made synthetic amino acids, which act as sort of a genetic firewall. Scientists say that without the compound, if the bacteria escape their controlled environment of the laboratory, they will die quickly. What the researchers have created are bacteria that depend on artificial nutrients that do not exist in nature. Genetically modified bacteria are used to make many products, including pharmaceutical proteins like insulin and dairy products like yogurt. So far, researchers have only worked with bacteria and are far from applying the strategy to plants and animals. However, they do believe it's a step forward in making genetically modified organisms more appealing, as this method of biological containment represents a smaller threat to the natural world. Connie Lee, Arirang News.